So, it's time for you to become your own boss and work for yourself. Let's do a little tough love about what it's like to be your own boss. So when you work at a company, you can kind of come and go when you want. You can take your vacation days, sick days, whatever you have. When you are working for yourself, those days don't exist anymore. Yeah, right, that four hour work week, that ain't happening for most of us. Instead, you've got the pressure of not making payroll. You're looking at people who aren't gonna be able to put food on their dinner table at night, and you don't wanna put in an extra couple of hours to try to keep that from happening? I didn't think so. When you're failing at your current job, so let's say you're just not doing well, and you choose to quit and go get a new job. Everybody congratulates you on LinkedIn, you have a new job, good for you. Nobody knows that maybe you were failing at your last job. You wanna go ahead and run your own startup? <laughs> when you fail at a startup, everybody freaking knows you failed. That feels really different at the cocktail party, doesn't it? When you're working inside of a company, you get to look at your boss and just basically think that they're wrong. Call them an idiot. They didn't figure this thing out. They're not giving me the things that I need to be successful. When you're working for yourself, you gotta look at yourself in the mirror and say, I failed, I didn't get it. I didn't see these things happening, and as a result, I have failed. That is way different than telling somebody else they didn't set you up for success when you gotta look yourself in the mirror and go, somebody bought my service or my product today. They just didn't buy it from me. Imagine thinking that every day during your struggle and you're coming up as an entrepreneur or a startup founder. When there's not enough hours in the day to get everything done, I get to go tell my boss that when I work at a company. Hey boss, you know what? I've been putting in crazy hours the last few days, last week, last month. We gotta find a different way to work. If you work for yourself and there's not enough hours in the day, tough shit. Nobody wants to hear it. The bad part is, is the stress starts to come from saying, I don't have the money yet to go hire somebody. So then you gotta keep working and keep working and keep working. Or you're gonna go into debt in order to hire somebody and maybe stop even paying yourself for a few months, six months or a year, that's a ton of stress. Speaking of stress, if you're feeling stressed at a job, you get to ask your boss for a little downtime, a little R&R, &R. I need to unplug, and then get back to my life when I have time, right? And their job is to have your back while you're out, not yours. In theory, hopefully you'll set your team up for success, it's really their job to make sure that there's somebody there to have your back. You wanna work for yourself, guess what? When you feel stressed, you got nowhere to go. Nobody to talk to, your company is usually too small for somebody to step in for you, so therefore you don't have the freedom that you thought you had. That sucks, and what it leads to is usually more stress. When you're stressed out and you need downtime, you take downtime at that point. You're actually making most of your problems worse. Imagine if you lost a client and they were 20%, 30% of your revenue. You're gonna take time off to recoup from that? You gotta get back on your grind because you just stopped making money, buddy. If you're underpaid, or you believe you're underpaid at the job you're working at, the cool part is you can go get a new job. If you're underpaid and you're working for yourself, the thing that sucks the most is everybody's out there congratulating you for starting up your own thing and having the balls to go out and start your own company and blaze your own path. And your, your brain loves all that congratulations, but your wallet is like, I'm not making any money right now. I could have been making more money if I just worked at the company I was working at or another company I could have worked for. So it's a really stressful, interesting thing when you're getting congratulated for blazing your own path and go get them and deep down you know that you're fucking broke. Speaking of being lonely, when you get together with your friends, you can talk about work in a context that they understand. What it's like to have a boss, to have that boss be great, to have that boss be bad, they get it. When you work for yourself, or you're doing your own thing, or you're at a startup and starting one up, nobody really understands what it's like in your friends group. And that can be very, very, very lonely. Because when you go talking about you had to work a crazy long weekend because you had to make payroll, that's different. When I didn't have health insurance for our first employee, Joe Kovach, I sat across the room from him, because it was a small room, and I said, you're gonna hear me make cold calls until you get health insurance. Most people don't know what that feels like to actually have to say to somebody, and then have to sit there in front of them and be really awkward on the phone making cold calls while people tell you to fuck off because they don't want what you have to sell. When I worked for a company, every Friday in the summer, I would take off half a day and get to the beach super early in my house of 10 or so guys. The year I decided to start working for myself and get all that freedom I've been told about, I was always the last guy to get to the house. In one year, I went from being the first guy down there, book on the beach, letting the waves come before it gets crowded, to being the guy driving down, stuck in traffic, getting down there at the last minute, 
And then on the weekends, toting my laptop or my tablet to the beach to do work. Yeah, that was a whole lot of fun. And nobody understood it. They went, why are you working like that? I went, because people are relying on me to make sure they can put food on the table, man. So the last thing I'll leave you with is stop watching Shark Tank. Yeah, you heard me. Shark Tank is the wrong show because all it does is inspire you to be like, I can go and I can do it and I can get validation. So sorry if this is a little rough, but somebody's got to tell you because everybody out there is invested in you doing entrepreneurship. And somebody's got to tell you that it's not all the things that you see on freaking Shark Tank. Deuces.